right now we're going to be going over the pocket mop charging system and in how this this works so the area that we're going to be cleaning today is going to re require 18 mops so that means we'll want one gallon of cleaning solution so we'll add our chemical to our one gallon of water go ahead and take our mops put them in pocket side up we take our top one and flip it over so when we add our chemical it doesn't splash so we'll add our one gallon of chemical and then we put the, the lid on this charging bucket what we do is we start with the four corners and then slide down the side and then I'll do the flip now when you have a brand new frame and handle you'll need to connect the handle we remove this c-clip put the handle in the frame line up the hole and put the c-clip in and tighten the collar now when you adjust the handle for each individual user you turn this handle counterclockwise bring it up to your chin tighten it clockwise and this sets it for the correct height for ergonomic for each type of cleaner Okay, so it's been around 15 minutes. I've got to the place where I'm going to clean. So it's, I'm going to take the bucket and flip it over and take the lid off. Take the top mop, flip it back over, and then I at attach my first mop for cleaning. Now when we mop with a microfiber mop, we make sure that we always have the same leading edge and move the mop in a figure eight motion. What we do not want to do is swab the deck like this because it'll leave dirt out in front. So we're always figure eighting. Then after about 400 square feet, your mop's gonna start drying out. So we take our soil mop put it into the laundry bag and get the next mop for the next 400 square feet and off we go. Now when it comes time to taking care of your microfiber mops, as far as washing is concerned, never use fabric softener. Wash in warm water and not hot water. And when it comes to drying, you could either hang dry them or put them in a machine dryer, but use low temperature heat.